Hello and welcome. My name is Logan Penny. I am a new Kitbash 3D ambassador. I've been using their products for a long time and I'm happy to represent them and help you solve any of your problems that you might have with some of their products inside of Unreal Engine. Let's do that right now with Cargo and 5.2. All right, here we are in a brand new project in 5.2.1. It's called KB 3D testing. And I'm going to go over here and type in cargo and open up the cargo app. And I recently updated it to version 1.0.8. You can see at the top and I'm already logged in. Remember me and it's logged me in and it shows the ones I own here. I've owned that one and some of these ones down here. So what do I want to do? I want to bring something in and test it out. My favorite kit, Secret Lab. I just love this kit. Hyperbaric chamber. I need extra oxygen. And I'm just going to go 1K. And I'm going to download that. That says download complete. And here. So now I'm going to test out the importing. Close that import. Here we go, could not locate your 3D software. Error 101, could not locate your 3D software. Let's click on that and open up the article and bring it over here and read it together. Written by Max, updated a week ago. What it means, cargo requires a connection to your 3D software in order to install the plugins. Okay, and then import them. Error 101, when cargo cannot find a 3D software in your computer, how to fix it check what software and version installed on your computer all right we have unreal and the version installed check the supported 3d software render engine guide to make sure cargo supports your version it does if you're encountering this error during software setup and your software version number are supported continue by advanced software setup that is what i did if you're encountering this error during download import go to your account settings and make sure you have the, the 3d software and version number set as your default we also did that okay Let's go back here and do all that again. Account. Unreal Engine. 5.2. Default at 1K. Clear the cache. Let's even add a new software. Advanced Setup. Unreal Engine. 5.2. Next. Just select the project we're going to use click here and I'm going to use this project Kitbash testing open select the EU project open continue installing the plugin wasn't in that in that uh, particular project cargo is installed on a per project basis I'd installed it on another project so therefore it was working on that one. I opened up a new project. It's no longer working. It says I can't find it. We've walked through the support page. We're now going through the steps in the advanced setup of reinstalling the plugin on a new project, the one that we're in currently right now. It's going to then download a test asset and open Unreal and activate the plugin. So we're going to navigate to the library under my projects in the editor open the windows and click on cargo and so let's go over here window you might have to close the project open up the epic launcher i'm going to go click on library i'm going to type in kb and i got a lot here and where is their testing Five two, open that up. Now let's go to window. Now we do have cargo. Perfect. Click on cargo and I'll open up this here. Great. Open the Unreal and activate the plugin. We have done that. Next. Now it's testing the connection. So great, it's downloaded it. Let's hit import. Software setup complete. Close. I'm going to go over to models 
move this over. Oh, there we go. We're importing materials. Assigning materials it takes a moment. It's a rather big uh, castle is the demo. And so I have a relatively strong workstation and it even takes some time on my computer. So please be patient. And boom, there we go. The castle has populated into my world. I can move it around and leave it in the background here. So when we play the game, you can see that we have the castle in the background. Now let's go to a new level, basic, create. Well, we don't need to save this. We still have access to our cargo folder, which was created inside of actors. We have the castle blueprint ready to go. Now we need more than just a castle. This is another one of my favorite kits. I believe this is from the dark fantasy collection. Uh, I like this entrance here and we'll bring in another one of my uh, favorite, favorite picks here. So I'm going to click on cargo on the bottom, move that over and then in our models. I'm going to click on what I already own and what, what do I have downloaded? Oh, nothing. Okay. Unclick downloaded. You know what? I actually know a kit it's from. Let's go right to that kit which is the medieval marketplace and it's the city vendor. I do really enjoy this. I'm just going to grab the one K I want the light stuff and I might bring this into unreal for Fortnite. So I'm going to click on download. It's going to initialize. I know some people have had problems where it is stuck on initialization. And what that means is that you probably have lost the connection between cargo and and uh, Unreal or Cargo and your actual account. And I'm not sure. That's my guess because I haven't had the initialization fail for me yet. So now that I've downloaded that, I'm going to hit import. And now that turned back to yellow it was grayed out and you see nothing happened. Well, something did indeed happen. It's importing the mesh right now. I normally have Cargo on my uh, other monitor. So then you'd see immediately that, oh, it was working because I hit import and then I got the window popping up inside of Unreal Engine right away. So now we're assigning materials, assigning the mesh, importing the mesh, going through the process. And the first time always takes a while, but as you saw when we brought the castle in in the new level, once it's been brought into memory, then it can be brought into a level very quickly. Not a bad time to um, go through cargo while this is importing. Uh, you know, start thinking about your asset zoo. Which which assets do I want? I'm going to start collecting them and downloading them one by one and importing them and maybe watching some YouTube videos or doing some learning uh, as you're as you're importing because it can take a little while. Uh, there we go. That worked. We're going to bring this over here. And what, what am I going to begin to do? Oh, kit bash these together. Uh, this is some of the worst kit bash here. I mean, we got to match the bricks. We got to scale this down. I'm just, to, this is just for demonstration on, on how we can get set up on cargo. And so let's say, actually, no, this is going to be, this is going to be part of like the, the corridor here. And maybe I'm going to then go ahead and uh, alt drag this and bring it over here. Whoops. Z, I was grabbing the wrong uh, arrow there. Set it up here. And you can see, oh, maybe we can we can start to build a courtyard or maybe the shot is coming in from, from here or this is our scene and I'm not sure. Obviously, this is just a, for demonstration purposes and you are gonna, gonna be bringing in a lot more than one, one city vendor street and one default castle. All right, I hope that this is helpful to anyone that watches it. If you're encountering errors beyond uh, what's covered in this video, please uh, reach out to support and submit a ticket in the Kitbash support and myself and the team and, and, uh, and the ambassadors will do their best to troubleshoot and get you helped out. Thank you. Bye now.